Hey everyone, so this is my Bishop Mini Bless, and um, I'm just here today to show you basically the skills and the gameplay for bishops from first job to fourth job. Okay. So starting off with the first job, you just get um, basic basic mage buffs, so magic guard, magic armor, you get MP boost, and then we're probably going to be mostly mobbing with magic club. So this just hits multiple multiple mobs at once. And energy bolt hits one mob at once. Okay. And in second job, um it gets a little more interesting. You get holy arrow, which is better than magic claw, but still kinda weak. Um so you're gonna be mobbing with that, but you're not gonna max that. Since it's pretty useless after third job. And you get a whole series of really nice buffs. You get MP Eater, which absorbs MP from enemies. Teleport, which helps you teleport um, back and forth, up and down. You have Heal. And Heal just does as it says. It heals your HP and it heals your party member's HP also. And we have Invincible, which um, increases your defense. We have Bless, which is just an overall good buff. And we have Spell Mastery and High Wisdom, which which both uh, increase your uh, damage. Alright, and in third job we have... we learned Shining Ray, which is kind of a nice mobbing move. It attacks sideways, but also attacks a little bit on slopes. So even if Monster is a little bit higher than you, you can still hit it. Alright, and then in third job we get actually a bunch of useful skills. We get Dispel, which basically acts as an all cure for you and your entire party, and it's very useful during bosses since you can relieve yourself of abnormal conditions. We have Mystic Door, which for the price of one magic crystal, um, you can go back to town and your party members can go back to town to get pots, um, buy something, meet up with someone, do whatever they want. And then we have Holy Symbol, which is basically your ticket into every party. That increases your experience and the experience of all your party members. And we also have Doom. So this turns your um, enemies into snails. And I actually succeeded on this one monster right here. Um, that's not that useful, so we d usually don't max it. And then we have Magic Booster, which increases your attacking speed. We have Teleport Mastery, which allows you to attack monsters by simply teleporting past them. It's also useful during bossing, since you can teleport up and attack at the same time. And I'm pretty bad at it, <laughs> but... Yeah, it's something you can master if you're a bishop that helps increase your DPS at bosses. And then we also have Holy Focus, which is a permanent um, passive buff. It gives you lots of crit rate and mastery. And then we have Holy Magic Shell, which is useful for bossing especially, since it protects you and your entire party from monster attacks. And then we also have Arcane Overdrive, which is um, just a nice crit boost and minimum crit minimum critical damage boost. Alright, and then in fourth job we're gonna get Angel Ray, Angel Ray finally. So Angel Ray is a really nice mobbing move. Um, we're gonna use it also for bossing. And then we also get Big Bang which isn't all that useful for bishops if they have uh, Angel Ray since it requires charging and it's just not as efficient DPM wise. We also get Infinity, which um, increases your damage over the course of 40 seconds. So you see I start off with um, about 110 damage, and you'll see this gradually increasing as time passes. And so this is the effect of in Infinity. So Infinity is basically like a little bit of god mode for 40 seconds since you get stance and you recover HP and MP and you also have increased um, magic attack. 
We also have Bahamut. Um, I have no idea how to say that, but uh, so he's just our little dragon friend and he attacks monsters for us. So that increases our DPM. And then he also um, helps us resist abnormal conditions, so at bosses, this is pretty useful. And then we have Resurrection. So this helps you bring party members back to life once they've died, so if you're training at a far out place or bossing, you can just bring your party members back to life. And then we have Genesis, which is the, the bishop um, ultimate. It's alright, it hits 15 monsters and it has a cooldown of 20 seconds. Alright, and then buff mastery is very nice. It gives us permanent um, magic attack boost of 30, and then it also increases our buff duration by 50%. And this is very useful um, during training or bossing. And then lastly, we have uh, we have two more two more buffs. We have arcane aim. So this it's kind of hard to explain, but basically with every hit you have a chance of. Um, Increasing your damage, basically, and this can stack up to five times. So basically, the more you hit monsters over and over again, the more your damage increases up to a certain point. So this is also really nice in increasing your damage. And then we have advanced blessing. So this is just um, the other buff that uh, bishops are useful for for parties, and just gives you and your party's extra weapon attack, extra magic attack, um, defense, avoidability, HP, MP, and so on. Alright, um, so that's the end of this little tutorial. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, hope you guys learned a bunch, and I hope you seriously consider playing bishops, because I love mine, and would love to see any of you play it also. Alright, um, peace out guys, bye.